Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here today, number 39 of this current series on Southern California eating establishments. This particular place has well over 20 locations. It has expanded quite a bit around the greater Los Angeles area. And I'm gonna go to the very first spot where it all began, I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Got my batteries all recharged, packing stuff up, and heading out. You know, I agree with you, Big the Foot. I didn't think this series would last as long as it has either. It's kind of nice, though, because it gives us something to do while still a lot of things are closed around these parts. Arrived at the cross streets of the 2600 North Block of Roseview Ave and Cypress Street. Right over there it is. King Taco. King Taco number one, they refer to it as. This location opened in 1974, which just so happens to be the year I was born. Six months prior to that, the gentleman who created King Taco had a food truck, a converted ice cream truck, and he is noted by some as being the inventor of the modern truck. Well, the modern, not food truck, but the modern taco truck. The same guy who started this place. A very well-known and popular place. This will be my first time. The first time at not only the first one, but also my first time at any of them. I've heard nothing but good things. Quite a full menu. That pole there is blocking nachos, tamales, burritos, an assortment of, look at these old, old school tables there as well. And they are open for takeout. The neon sign in the window. Maybe go with some soft tacos. That is what they are definitely known for. Oh, there you go. A nice old school piece of signage there. They specialize in beef and pork soft tacos you can eat here or available to go. The best in town. You best in town. I believe that's a crown there on top of the, the sign. Most likely under the shroud of nightfall it is illuminated. I think that's a crown up top has the kitchen tool in hand there. Got his boots on and a more prominent display of that crown. Top of his head. The way they have it set up now, the front door is actually the exit. You have to go around towards the back end to go in. They have one way in, one way out during, during, the, during the current time frame. And here's some other, they have parking as well. Going up these stairs says watch your step and this is the entrance around the back you get there through this little alley they have you know, the markings here along the ground as well as this dispenser below the the placard there of raul martinez passed away in 2013 but there is the date 1974 for this building that's him to be prepared. Got my beverage here. Total was $14.36 for all the items that will be presented to me. I've shifted over to this spot here in the corner on this blue X. See they have a few different ones. I ordered three soft tacos and also nachos, but the nachos I didn't get any meat on. 
but they are going to put cheese and jalapenos on them as well. Oh, there's me. Look. There I am, right there in that mirror. Two forty one. Two forty one. Two forty one. Okay, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh, there's a table right here. This is where I'm gonna sit. Nice. And this is what we're dealing with. The the item in this cup is, I believe it's pronounced horchat horchado. And I, to be honest with you, I do not know what flavor that is. Let me just kind of pop the, the top there. It kind of seems to be rather frothy. I was gonna go with, I was gonna go with like a soda or maybe even the, the bottle, two bottles of water like I have been doing. But I figured this would be the best option. You know, try something that I'm not really familiar with. I hear a helicopter going over. I don't see it, but I hear it. I'll go ahead and take a sip. Ooh, oh my goodness. That is really good. Wow. I don't even know what flavor that would be, but it's got like a little, I don't want to say spice, but it's got like a little kick. It's got a little kick, you can feel it like in the throat a little bit. Really refreshing. Ooh, never had this one before. As far as what's in the rest of the plastic container. Now she asked which type of sauce I wanted. And she said, did I want the red sauce or the green sauce? And I was kind of confused. I thought they were gonna go ahead and just automatically put it on there. She was nice enough to just give me both, both of them. These might be, what are these? These might be the tacos. Okay, yeah, here we go. There are the three. Now, size-wise, they're not really, I'm glad I ordered the nachos as well, because size-wise, these would probably not fill me up, but they look delicious. The onions on there, the little seasonings, the, the two layers there. Okay, these are gonna be, these are gonna be really good. Inside of here, oh yeah, look at there's a, oh my gosh, there's actually cauliflower. I have cauliflower and carrots on these. Those are some, those are some exorbitant amounts. There's a, a lot of goodness going on in there. I see some onions, I see the cheese, I see the jalapenos the aforementioned other two things, the veggies. Yeah. Okay, so let me just shift this around. You can see the entire, the entire item fest that I have going on here. Don't know which one to go into first. I'm gonna go in for a nacho. In fact, I'm gonna get a little piece here. Decent size. This is the veggie there, that is. Cauliflower. I'm like I've had cauliflower nachos. I've had cauliflower tacos before. Sometimes I've been in the mood for those, but I lived in Hollywood on Hollywood Boulevard. There was a taco place. And sometimes I would get sands the meat and I would get cauliflower ta cauliflower tacos are really good. So this just makes sense to have it on the nacho. The nacho side. That jalapeno was like, Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh, my goodness. I need a chaser. I'm using the cheese as the chaser. Mm. Originally, I was going to order four of these, and then I noticed that they had the side of nacho, so. I opted for three. It's a good choice because that's a there's a lot going on here. Three will be plenty, and I might eat, well, I'll probably finish it all. But this is a lot of food. 
starting with the green sauce. The green might be more flavorful and spicy than the red. Eh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold up the first taco. I'm not gonna go too heavy. I'm just gonna kinda, just a couple drops there. <laughs> and then I don't know if the green is gonna be on it and the red. I love these little soft tacos. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. That is really good. Wow. The green sauce, not too spicy, not too to too terribly warm. After eating the jalapeno, maybe I've just acclimated to it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. these type of tacos. I've had a hard shell. I've had the fried shell. I've had soft tacos. You know, you think of like a, a fast food establishment soft taco. is different than the traditional style like this. The last time I had a taco like this is back when I lived in Hollywood. My buddy Jordan the Lion who also Lived in my lived in my neighborhood. Okay, here's the red sauce. Okay, the red sauce. Okay, judging by oh, that's ooh. okay. This might be the toasty one. It's pretty good. I think I prefer the other. I think I prefer this this one. Actually, let's just mix them up. Oh, splashed a little too much. Lost a little bit of the meat there. But him and I sometimes in the evenings get a little hungry. We hit each other up and say, "Hey, you want to go down to this taco truck? The taco truck spot is not there anymore. It was right across from the Palladium, next to the Rite Aid there, Gower Gulch." I had some dang good tacos that were very, so they had the carne asada, and I would always get those. It's been about a year since I've had the style of carne asada soft taco, and the tortilla, the miniature tortillas doubled up like that. But it reminds me of those days. I like the green sauce a lot. drink is amazing. Cinnamon. That's the, that's the flavor I'm thinking. Cinnamon flavored. But straight up cinnamon. Glad I got the large on that one. That is good. Ooh. You'll notice people are going in the exit. So it's not blocked off to go in the exit, even though that's normally the entrance, but during, you know, current day. You're supposed to go in the back and do it, but you can still go in this way. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people doing so, even when I was waiting for my order. But you have to go in and go get in the rest of the line, which starts at the back, but I don't have this blocked off. So you can go in either one, but you're supposed to go, you're supposed to follow the signage around the back. I almost walked in the front door when I first came up, and I opened the door. I said, whoa, 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 something, something's different here. Okay, I have finished the three this is what I have left in this tin foil. They wrap the three in the tin foil. Ooh, you know what? I was just gonna kind of use this and shovel it in, but I'm gonna dump it onto my nachos. A little food hack for you. There we go. Just get all the little nooks and crannies on there. When I was waiting in line, I noticed napkin dispensers. I did not, I didn't think ahead to grab any napkins. I could go back in, but I don't want to walk in the exit. It would just be kind of awkward. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna power through for now. Okay, let me get a good chunk of stuff here. <laughs> Look at all this. I need a jalapeno on there. 
you put just a little jalapeno, just like that. That is full on nacho status, if ever there was one. I like the nachos are, are great. It's a nice addition. That nacho packs a punch. Well, the jalapeno, I mean. Thank goodness for cheese. It helps curb the, the heated sensation going on in my mouth. Mmm. Peppers are an acquired taste. I am a novice when it comes to any sort of item that is spicy. I do like Indian food. I do like curry. As long as it's like moderately mild. But I do like a little kick. But peppers are a, a new forte in my life. I'm starting to get full. And to reiterate, I'm glad I got the, the <laughs> large beverage. Probably gonna finish about another half of these, give or take. I put my trash in the the bag there. Blocked the signage behind me with a little some shade. A little a little awning there that they have drawn out because of the sun. It's a good idea. We're sitting out here. I'm already under it, uh, the regular. You know, this awning is permanent. That's just like a temporary one. They're around the other the other side as well. See, everybody that's pulling up is probably a little confused on where the entrance and exit is. In the grand scheme of things, I guess it probably really doesn't matter. Because once you're in, you just get on the markers and go from there. I might be done with the jalapenos. Like my whole inside of my mouth every nuance of the mouth inside was feeling those jalapenos this would have been good to lather it with the meat as well as shown in a photo that was like large photo on the wall we could see how with the meat it would be good i had a little bit of the leftover meat for my tacos and of course the carrot Carrots on nachos. Who'd have thought? It's kind of the type, the type of cheese, you know when you go to a baseball game and you order nachos? It's that type of cheese, that type of melted cheese. But what, the baseball games I've been to, side note, I wanted to go to some Los Angeles Dodgers baseball games and I lived in Hollywood. I did not do that in the two years I lived up in Hollywood. And now that I'm down in Orange County, I'm only maybe two miles, three miles, give or take a couple miles from the Anaheim Angel Stadium. So when everything kind of gets back to a semi-regular routine and the season starts up, that, that might be another year or so. I would like to go to some games. I don't have to have like box seats or anything like that. Just get kind of a, the nosebleeds. get a hot dog and what made me think of it were these nachos some nachos maybe some peanuts totally off subject though the good thing about this eating series like I just tell you what's immediately popping into my head and my mouth this side would have been a meal in itself future reference stating this now this would have been a meal especially if i would have got the meat this would be a full meal in itself didn't even need to get the tacos but i'm glad i did they were good man that's good There's not much on this one Jalapeno. The mixture of things they put on there. I almost forgot there were onions on there because the peppers are so prominent. That's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop. Coming up today on future uploads. 
here on this channel. Oh yeah, you can take it a step further and ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, oh, give it a big thumbs up. Oh, look at that. It's the pepper leaf. No, 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 no. Give it a big thumbs up, it lets me know. See you in the next video of the vlog. The vlog is over. That's right, Big the Foot. That is a good thing indeed. Good to see you in these times. <laughs>